Hi, this is Sridhar from wpdevdesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can take the shape divider from Elementor and implement it in Oxygen. This is the Elementor page and this is the Oxygen page. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here I am in the Oxygen editor for my page that has a couple of sections and the section at the top has a solid background blue color. I'm going to copy the hexadecimal code of this background color and uh, uh, start a test page in Elementor, which I already did. And uh, I'm going to select the section by clicking on these dots. And I'll go from layout to the style draw uh, section and select normal and click on classic and click here and enter the same code and uh, then go to shape divider and click on bottom and i'm going to select the type of shape divider that i want i think personally i like mountains looks quite nice elegant so we can change the width of these uh, code uh, clouds the shape divider height and width etc so just change these to how you want and update now take a look at the Elementor page on the front end and um, you can see the shape divider like this. Um, just right click anywhere on this shape and click on inspect in Chrome developer tools. And um, as you can see right now I have the entire select uh, section um, selected. But above this is this div that has Elementor shape and Elementor shape bottom CSS classes. I'm going to select this div and copy its HTML by either pressing uh, Command C and if you're on Windows, you would press Control C or you can right click on it and go to copy and copy element. And uh, back in the Oxygen editor, you make sure that you have the section selected and click on add, do a search for code block, add one and go to PHP and HTML and replace the default placeholder uh, code with what you got from the Elementor page. Okay, let's go back to primary and the CSS section. And uh, now we need to start copying CSS and pasting in oxygen. So this particular div that has the class of Elementor shape, it has got three blocks of CSS. One, two, three. And I'm going to copy these three blocks of CSS and paste in Oxygen. And uh, I'm going to click on this and press the right arrow key on my keyboard to expand or open that div. And inside that is this SVG. So I'm going to press the down arrow key to select that SVG or you can simply click on it with your mouse. And this particular element has got uh, three blocks of CSS, one, two, and three. So copy all these three blocks of CSS. Let's do it again. Okay. So copy those three blocks of CSS and paste in oxygen. And inside this SVG is a path. Well, there are multiple path elements. So you can click on any path element and you can see it has got one and two, two blocks of CSS. And I'm gonna copy these two blocks of CSS and paste. Okay, so uh, we need to now do a couple of changes. If you observe this entire a part of the CSS selector that is specific to that particular um, element or section of Elementor. So we just need to replace this with uh, the ID of the section in which we have placed this code block. So I'm going to click on this section and copy that ID, go back to code block and in the CSS, I'm going to select this entire um, text and put a hash because that's the ID of the section and paste the 
sections ID and do the same thing over here like that. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that this section, it has a position of relative. So go to advanced layout position relative. Click on save. Come back here and refresh. And you should be able to see the shape divider. Now it would be better if we increase the padding at the bottom of the section. So let's do that by going to advanced size and spacing and change the 75 default bottom padding to something like say one in 180. Save. Come back and refresh. And there you have it. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.